And now, sports coverage you can count on with the Way 31 Sports Team. Hello from Regents Field here in Birmingham, Alabama. Nolan, I joined here by Max Gohan. It was opening day for the Rocket City Trash Pandas, and they get a big win tonight on the road to begin their season. Right. Brett Carey, the starter tonight. He's only made two starts at the AA level, one coming last year and one tonight. They've both been against the Barons, both of them zero runs allowed <laughs> right. tonight. Five innings, eight strikeouts, so that was pretty exciting. Considering he's not even one of the Angels' top prospects, yeah, exactly. imagine what the rest of the guys can do. And then Trey Cabbage, first of all, great name, yep. also great power. Hit a home run, <laughs> five RBIs tonight. It's unbelievable. All right, so let's see how the game played out. It was our first chance to see the Rocket City Trash Pandas in action, and manager Andy Shatsley would send out Brett Carey to start on opening night, and what a night it was. His first six outs were all strikeouts as the right righty was just dealing throughout the night, and we stayed knotted at zero until the fourth when Trey Cabbage, as you mentioned, scored the first runs of the season. High fly ball, deep to center, a two-run home run, and a Trash Pandas lead, two to nothing. But it wasn't just his pitching that impressed tonight. Carey getting it done fielding as well, turning this 1-6-3 double play as he would finish his night with eight Ks and no runs scored. But the Barons would rally in the six. Craig Didilo with the screamer down the right field line. That leaves the park. We were knotted up at two, but a two-run seventh would be the difference as a sack fly took the lead, and this live and Soto RBI single extended it as the Trash Pandas would go on to win on opening night, eight to two, leaving the new manager pleased with his guys. I'm just happy for the guys. Same as always. I mean, uh, we're excited. We're, we're grateful for the chance to compete. Um, excited for, uh, told you uh, before, and I've said it for the last week, just uh, really feel confident in the consistency of the attitude and the uh, consistency of the effort, and that plays out in the macro and also plays out in the micro. So you saw it play out tonight, too. So. So something we saw last year is something we saw tonight. Great starting pitching and obviously a really, you know, pretty yeah. heavy dependence on the home run ball, but they were able to get it done with those small hits yeah, what, as well. What mattered was the win, of course. All right, how about we change gears and talk the Masters, the second round taking place today at Augusta. And what a day it was for a North Alabama native, Stuart Sink, with the shot of the day, a hole in one. Of course, he would not make the cut today, but I think it's safe to say he's probably happy with the fact that he could say that he had a hole in one at the Masters. Masters. Round three, of course, continues tomorrow. Max will have you covered with that as well. As Ada, you'll be at Auburn tomorrow, right? Oh, yeah, Auburn. Well, obviously, the talk right there. It's yeah. the quarterbacks. Who's going to be the replacement to Bo Nix? Who knows? We'll find out maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Auburn, 8 8 tomorrow. The Huntsville Havoc going to win tonight in Birmingham on the ice as well. That'll do it for us here in Birmingham. The Rocket City Trash Pandas are winners on opening night.